Well, welcome to today's show. This one is on layout and lettering for this tile job you see behind it. Roll title. All right, now that we've got this done, what we've got is a large space. And what we're trying to do is, since this is the biggest piece, this will set up and define where on the wall we actually do our our work where we're going to start with because we have a lot more rows and we want them to look nice and symmetric now this is a little bit further apart than what it should so it doesn't really perfectly fall in line with a three by six but it's not bad the 30 inch over by the stove is a lot tighter it looks a lot nicer but this will work i think i may even come in here and put me some end of uh, cabinet shelves maybe put a plant maybe glass shelf i've got a light above it so i don't want to i don't want to hang too much in there but just something in there maybe something to put you know somebody take a watch off or ring off when they're washing dishes or whatever they're doing put it up there think about adding some shelves in here but how do we lay this out because we have a fairly long cabinet if i step back out of the way you can see it's a, it's a fairly long it's over 10 feet so we want to get it right well i use what we call a, a, a ledger method and what it does is i just because I can't always count on a countertop or a house because they're sitting on top of the cabinet. I can't count on everything being perfectly level all the time. So I do want my cabinets, when we hang the cabinets, we use a laser level to do that. We try to do the same thing when we set the cabinets, but yet they are not always perfect. Then we come back in and put our, our countertops in and they may also not be perfect. So how do you do it? Well, what I'm trying to do is avoid this bottom row being wampy jaw now if i lay it directly on the countertop the countertop being granite is going to work pretty well because it's going to be pretty close to flat i would think and that's a good thing to come off of the problem that i have is is perhaps the counter or the floor is a little bit different than where we are on the wall and i want the wall to be nice and correct so what we do is i come in here let me flip the light off now you see our, our little red laser shows up a little bit better on the side down here we have i just take put a piece of tile i've got it backwards because i've already tiled the wall put one here put it on two spacers and you say why would why would i do two spacers because with two spacers i know if i'm going to set my ledger ledger up i want which is a little piece of trim just wherever i have i'm going to set the tile directly on that piece of wood okay it's going to go directly on a piece of wood so i need at least a spacer on the bottom and i need a spacer for the top and the width of the tile and that gives me this thing we have over here the two two spacers under now i go to the other end do the same thing whichever one is higher whatever the line is higher than that i have to go to the one that the red line is hitting closer because that's going to be the low one right so I can always give a little bit more ground up underneath the line than I can if I get it too shallow, too short. So I go to the one that the line's hitting and I make sure my line lays up. Next thing you'll see is we have the red line straight up the middle. Now imagine if there's no tile here, I just have the sheetrock. What I do is I have found with my measuring tape ahead of time, I have found where the center of the space is. Now, I notice that this is one of those Amazon laser levels and it, it shows vibrations. But I would come in here, measure, find the center, mark it with a pencil mark, make my laser find that pencil mark, and then come up with my straight edge marking. And I want a permanent pencil mark at the very center of the pattern because it's going to be center of the pattern that I'm going to use. And I'll roll some video now after we get that done and i get my row started the next thing i do is move the laser over one position so that it hits the the adjacent head see see right here we're on a tile i want to come over next after i get that one tile set i want to come over and i want to hit this edge right here the next head joint so that because i'm going to be able to see because i'm going to be able to see that line pencil line through that grout line i'll show you something we need to do for that now we remember our trowel this is one for glue it's got the smaller what we're going to do on the wall so that we can see our pencil line 
whenever we're in the center where that black line is, that pencil line we just marked is, we're not, we're not going to go up in that section. We're going to go across in that section so that we have rows of glue versus columns of glue or swirls of glue. And I'll show you when we roll this next segment, give you an idea of what we're looking for, okay? Because that one was done in process and I was able to, you know, use the cell phone. I don't, it didn't take a lot of setup with all the equipment and lights and whatnot for that. So if you like this content, please go to calldelltocell.com, find the tab that says on YouTube, click it, and it'll open up a page of QR codes. There you can use a smartphone to scan and get to the YouTube page, or you can just mouse over and click it on a PC. There you'll be able to subscribe to this little button over here and click the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you. Thank you. We'll show you that and this will make a lot more sense. Remember, we're going to use this to mark the horizontal line the same way. And then we take and put on a little piece of trim, something. We just nail it up to the edge of that laser light based upon those two tiles we put out. Then we have a solid base to start our rows. Now, when you use your glue, don't put on a whole lot. Don't put on too much. It just needs to have the defined rows. And it's just like we talked about on the floor tiles. Because it's going to have those rows sticking up on a floor tile, it has a place for those to mush. If you have too much glue, you might think you're doing really good, but what you'll end up having is a clump where you just it, the glue has really no place to go because you've already got some tiles set and you're putting the one on top. It'll maybe ease out at the grout line when you get there or squish out the edge, but you can't really get it all out and you'll have a high tile there. So just use the lines it provides. And outside of the center, you don't have to go horizontal. But there's a reason why we'll talk why the horizontal on your glue trowel matters. Let's roll that video. Now I haven't put tile down in 30 years, but what I've got here is a laser level, which weren't available to us common folk and you see I got a little ledger made of a piece of trim there because I'm going to start with a second row working off the center doesn't really show unless I get real close up to there you go and so we got our work space prep I have the plan because I need to know how to hit the right spot on the cabinets because of the layout I'm using a little thicker Spacer there, but use them on the end there, an eighth inch. Cut a few end pieces, got my stack to get started with cleaned up, and we're ready to go. First day's worth of work. Now, next day, we got to finish that corner down here. It's not really a corner, it's an edge. We're going to bullnose it at that line which falls in line with that top cabinet. So that's our line from vertical to the ledger and of course we'll pull the ledger off and do that bottom row well i laid this out using a laser first to draw a line on the board but we've got our line at the bottom that's a half of that tile going through the line going through the line going through the line you might be able to see up here on one of them I don't know if it shows you can see it with the naked eye right there I think that's it we've got the line in behind of it there it is all right so it's in the gap and that's how we find the top then we come over to the side focus camera then come over to the side and do another vertical line with a laser so that we line up the next head joint which would be the little vertical joint Get that done, we've pulled our ledger off. We're getting ready to run the end down on the other side. Got a bit of a gap on the on the sides. It's just gonna have to be filled in with grout. Have to do the top. Need something a little better than what I have right now. I gotta get a, I got a saw coming over, gonna borrow one. Coming over with the help this morning. Let's see if I got it laid out halfway decent. Look at that joint next to it. Look at that joint next to that. It looks pretty even. 